A Gainesville community in mourning tonight as family and friends remember a fallen deputy killed in the line of duty. More than 100 people gathered in Gainesville to honor Blaine Dixon, who was shot and killed Sunday in a confrontation with alleged car thieves. Well, Ryan Kruger was there as Dixon's law enforcement brothers and sisters rallied around his memory. This all started as a Facebook post. A group of private citizens wanted to do something to honor Deputy Dixon, who was killed in the line of duty on Sunday. That Facebook post quickly spread. Everyone wanted to be here to help. They wanted to be here to pray. And Dixon's family wanted to meet everyone. We just pray right now that you'll just continue to be with his dad, mom, his wife, his two little boys, and all the family. In a small town like Gainesville, tragedy is bound to strike close to home. Just being a good kid. I mean, he was really nice and um, he was a good person. Gail Barrett remembers Deputy Nicholas Blaine Dixon as a kid. Like everyone else here, she knew him as Blaine. He always had that big smile, always willing to help out others. From the time he was little, two, three years old, he just, he was always trying to look out for somebody. Freddie Dixon didn't plan on showing up to this vigil. But once he and the rest of his family saw the incredible outpouring of support, they knew they had to share a message. We were blessed to have him for 28 years. And we were heartbroken. But at the same time, we feel so much love from this community. Here in Gainesville and Hall County, all of the flags on government property will be lowered to half staff. And in downtown Gainesville, right above the pedestrian bridge at Jesse Jewell Parkway, the lights will be lit blue to honor Deputy Dixon's service. All right, Ryan, so right now the 17 year old suspected in killing Deputy Dixon is still in the hospital. Hector Garcia Solis had only been out of jail five days before Sunday's chase and shooting. Three other teens are also facing felony murder charges in the deputy's death. Brian Cruz, London Clements and Eric Velasquez all appear before a Hall County judge today. According to investigators, the teens were spotted by deputies on Sunday driving a stolen car that led to a chase and eventually a shootout that resulted in Deputy Dixon's death. You'll find more on this story, including details of a fund set up to help Deputy Dixon's family on the front page of 11alive.com and the new 11alive app.